it's Angel again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm kind of um, in the middle of uh, preparing for a little swap, or like more than one swap, actually. And um, I, the person that I'm swapping with, um, I wanted to send her a bunch of these little punch, uh, little punch, what do you call these? These little punchy things. <laughs> These little punch punch die cuts, I guess that's what they're called, punch cuts. And um, I didn't want the, you know, I didn't want them to be flying around all over the place in um, the big envelope that um, I was going to send all of her stuff in. So I made these little miniature envelopes um, to um, put, you know, just to keep them all together. And, um, I don't know, I just thought I would uh, film a video while I was doing it. So this one I made out of um, origami paper, which is, I think, um, I think it's uh, six by six, but you don't really need origami paper. You can use scrap paper, and if you don't have um, any punches, um, that's okay too, because I'll show you um, how... Um, you can do them without, you know, without punches, but basically, um, to make little, these little envelopes, because I was, at first I was thinking, um, maybe I should go and get one of those envelope, you know, makers or those envelope, I don't know, those like contraptions that, you know, show you how to make envelopes or cut them out or, you know, but then I just thought, oh, this is like, you know, it's just a matter of like folding. I mean, you guys probably already know how to how to do it, and I feel like I even I knew how to do it. I just I never did. So um, you know, because I never really needed to. But um, obviously, I do now, and um, and um, I so that's really honestly all I did, which was kind of find the middle and um, fold it you know, fold it this way, and then I folded one up that way, and then you can, you can, um, you can see that, you know, it, it'll make like a perfect square, but what I like to do is cut a little piece, well, I'll show you, I like to cut just a little piece right here on the side, that's probably about one, one centimeter, and um, so what I'll do is I'll cut one side and then I'll use it, I'll use this as um, like a template, you know, kind of like a guide, just so that it's kind of even. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I told you guys a million times, like I hate perfection. I think perfection is just, I don't know, it's not part of my life. I don't want perfection to be a part of my life, you know, um, but I just found that that kind of makes it look more envelopey. So you'll see like there's a little bit extra that way the the flap, the you know, to close to close it, it'll close a little bit. I don't know. It just looks a little bit cuter. It looks more envelope-ish if um if that's a word. <laughs> and then um I just use whatever washi tape I have. I feel like I want um, something a little bit contrasting, so I'm going to use this washi tape, but you know, whatever, whatever is available. So this is origami paper, and um, I've also got this um, like card stocky 6x6, um, six six, um, you know, like scrapbook paper, so you can use that if you've got, and like this, I. I'm not really that fond of, of this color to use in my junk journals, really. But I think as an envelope, I feel like it would it'll be cute, especially the way um, I'm gonna decorate it. So um, usually I well maybe I should because this is gonna go in the mail. So usually I sort of reinforce my washi because my washi tapes are always um, not as sticky. As I would like and um, but 
I'm thinking maybe for a swap, it would be a good idea actually not to make it too, too sticky because that way if uh, the person that I'm sending, I'm sending this to kind of wants to take apart the envelope to use the paper for something else, that's something she, you know, she or, or he can do. But I think it, just for the sake of, of this one, I will, um, you know, reinforce the the washi with my stick glue. This particular stick glue I'm using isn't that great anyway. So I kind of like to use a little bit more tape than, you know, than I need because then I can cut it and it just kind of makes it look a little bit neater. And um, it just, I don't know, it just makes it look neater and a little bit more uh, finished, you know, but I also, I also think a good like torn piece is cute too because that makes it look more homemade. And then if you're doing a swap or if you're doing like, um, you know, an RAK kind of, kind of package, you can put your little, I don't know, you can put your little note in, in, you know, it's an envelope within an envelope and you can put your little note in there, right? So, okay, so let's, I know I'm struggling here, <laughs> and um, I put some like puppy calm down music on for my dogs, but, and so if it's kind of messy right here, it doesn't matter because um, usually most people put, you know, when they seal it, they put something here, you know, on top, but I just think it's kind of cute to put it on the inside, like, you know, where the opening of the envelope is. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be using my little punches, but um, um, I'm going to show you, um, I think I don't want, I think I want something a bit more contrasting. So I'm going to use my little, my little punches. I got to find the right one. I think I like this. Yeah, that's cute. So I'm gonna use my little punches, but if you don't have that, if you don't have these little punches, don't even worry about it, because I'm gonna show you um, how to do one. Well, not necessarily how to do one, but I'm gonna show you how I would, you know, that how I would do one without my little punches. If I can find a little piece of, yeah, so that's cute, right? So I'm just gonna like assemble it. And for this part, because the stick glue that I happen to have open right now is really not um, not that wonderful. I'd rather use stick glue because I think it's just easier and it, it uh, dries faster. Um, but I don't particularly like this stick glue that I'm using. Why are you crying, my mouser? And um, that's how easy this part this part is because I've got the punches. But like I said, I'm gonna show you in just a minute um, um, how I'll do it. You know, without using a punch because sometimes when I'm watching somebody do something, you know, like how to do something, and they've got all these stamps and contraptions and things that I would have to go out and spend money on, which is fine. Um, but, you know, not everybody has all that stuff and not everybody has all the money for that stuff or wants to spend all the money on that stuff. And so here we have like a cute little envelope and then you can put something here if you want to. Um, you know, maybe a little, little, um, a little butterfly right here on some of them I've been putting I've been putting the um the butterfly kind of off to the side or um you know kind of making it look like it's about to fly into the um you know into the flower um but I think it's just cute it's just cute even like that I mean you can distress it you can distress the the sides or the back you can even put like a cute little 
you know, like a little stampy stamp there. But I think it's just cute like that. And then, so the only thing I'm gonna do to this flower is to give it a little extra something. And um, where is my, I have like a, an acrylic, well, I guess I'll just use this one. So I like to use these liquid pearls or any kind of um, like heavy bodied acrylic-y kind of paint where you can make like a little, you know, like a little dot just to finish off the flower. Isn't that cute, you guys? So let's do one now without, you know, without the punches. So we'll make our own like, our own little flower. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna just use my um, my regular printer paper that I, I tea dyed and um, kind of um, made these kind of psychedelic looking um, little little weird ink spots here with um, alcohol ink, and um, because not everybody has um, six by six scrapbook paper or origami paper, so I'm just gonna use this um, piece of scrapbook paper as um, my little guide, but it's basically like the the um, measurements that I've been using are, you know, it's just basically six, six by six roughly. And I'm not even, I'm gonna try to cut as straight as I can, but if it's not straight, I'm not worried about it because it's, it's homemade, it's handmade and I want it to look handmade. Like see, I even kind of went a little bit too far in um, than I had wanted to, but it's still gonna end up looking cute, you guys. So um, that's, I just want to figure out how I want it to look. Yeah, so I just, I mean, I'm not even, you could find the middle by using, a, um, you know, like a ruler, you know, corner to corner. So you do, like this is how we did it in school um, when I was in my art classes. Like you could find the middle, so you just line up the the corners. And I'm just showing you just like, you know, if you want to do it, because I don't do it that way, but you know, some people would, and I appreciate the fact that some people would. I It doesn't really matter to me, but if you want it to be like, you know, perfect middle, like that's how you would find it is, you know, there's the middle right there. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> but see, now I've got this, this pencil mark is gonna end up showing. But, um, I, you know, I, there's a fix for everything, you guys. There is a fix for everything. But see, the thing about not cutting straight is you might have a little bit of trouble um, in the folding. But I'm like, I'm, I don't even care, you know, I'm not even worried about that. So I'm going to once again cut a little piece on the corner here. And I'm going to try to cut it as straight as I can. But like I said, I'm not, you know, I don't care. And then I'm going to use that. Oops, how did I have that? So I'm going to use that piece as my, like, as my template sort of, um, just so it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of evenly cut, but even then I don't, it's fine, you know, I feel like the easier it, things are for me, the, and the faster, the more I'm going to enjoy it, doing it. If it starts to become like tedious, then I'm just going to feel like, no, you know, no, I don't want to do it too hard, you know, so then that's how I would fold it downwards. And so to fix this, like if you um, say you've got something on the inside that, you know, you don't really necessarily want to show, I and mean, then that's just super easy. So we'll just, you know, take, oops, take a piece of, um, 
like, well, no, maybe we'll take, hmm, maybe we'll do a doily. Maybe we'll put a doily in on the inside, and then that'll make it kind of, I don't know, that'll make it kind of, kind of sweet looking. It'll kind of be like a little surprise to have, like, you know, the doily kind of sticking out, right? So for this, I will definitely use my stick glue. Oops. Like, see, I don't like the stick glue. It's like, I don't know. I don't like it. But I'm going to make it work because I don't want to waste, you know, I may end up, I don't know. I may end up just putting it away <laughs> and um, getting out the, the Elmer's, the school glue that I like, but, oops, so that's going to be really pretty, Mouser, and um, you don't have to put a doily there, but that's just because I wanted to cover up that, you know, that pencil mark, oops, I would normally even put a pencil mark there, but I just wanted to show, I don't know, whoever might be interested in trying to find, you know, like the true middle of, um, you know, if you're doing an envelope. But let's see how it looks when it's closed because we're going to have to let it dry. But like, see, that'll look cute. That's going to look really cute. Okay, so let me let that dry and then I'll be right back. <sighs> While that was drying, I went ahead and um, folded a couple a couple more or a few more actually um the thicker um scrapbook paper the you know the card stockish kind of thick paper i found a little bit difficult to fold so uh, a bone folder or something you know to help with the folding you know, I would recommend something like that. I don't have a bone folder and I'm not planning on buying one, but I do have this old um, pottery tool that I can use um, to help me fold. But you know, even the, the side of a pencil or a pen or something. So, um, and then another thing that I wanted to do was like show you guys that you can use um, the book pages that you rip out of you know when you're making an altered book um you know and like i said before you guys probably already know how to do this but um i didn't <laughs> so i'm just gonna measure so it's five and then five um and it doesn't have to be perfect That's where I'm going to fold it. I just, I don't know. I would rather, if I could figure out how to make something before I go out and, and buy, you know, buy like a machine to help me make it, that is what I would rather do. So this piece right here is torn and I actually kind of like that. And I just kind of want to, I don't know, like you know, for somebody who maybe wouldn't, wouldn't like that, um, you know, you could just cut it straight or use a paper cutter, paper trimmer, whatever. But I like that. I like when things look homemade. I like when things look imperfect and I just, I, I just do. And I totally understand, you know, you know, the people who don't, if you like, you know, things that look absolutely, you know, finished and, 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 um, and perfect. I don't want to say perfect. I feel like you guys know what I mean. Just things that look a little bit more, you know, like professionally done, I guess. I happen to not. I just really like things that look, I don't know that have little quirkiness about them that have like that. So for this, since this is a, um, a book page, I want to use a washi tape that is um, 
kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll use the rest of this polka dot, polka dot fabric tape. Um, or, um, maybe I'll use, yeah, I like that one. So I'm going to use my, oops, use my glue for that. <clears throat> so I'm just, I'm doing this like real time, like this part real time, just to show anybody who's watching that you just, you do not need all of that stuff, all of that crap that we go and spend money on at the store. And like, trust me, I like, I am right there with anybody who loves buying all that stuff because I do. But at the same time, I like, you know, I like being able to say that I made something without, you know, just on my own without the help of like uh, some contraption or some machine or some kind of, I don't know, kind of, I don't know. I get more of a sense of accomplishment <laughs> out of it. Plus, I mean, who doesn't love to save a dollar? I do. The more money I save, you know, on stuff that I don't need because I'm like making it myself, the more I can, you know, the more I can spend when I do, you know, when I do go shopping. <laughs> and um, I, you know, if you remember from a few minutes ago, I glued in this doily because um, I had my pencil marks there and I wanted to kind of cover it up. And I think that makes it look cute. So when you open, you know, when whoever gets this little envelope and they open it up, there's a little doily there sticking out. And that kind of, I don't know, that kind of just adds to the charm of it. So I think... I'm going to use uh, this fabric tape and um, you know since that looks sweet and this fabric tape is um, kind of sweet then um, I, this I don't need to um, reinforce it with glue because this fabric tape is is a really good it's a really good tape so um, I'm just gonna use it the way it is even you know if for someone that that doesn't have washi tape or fabric tape or you know any of that stuff even like you know cutting a piece of cutting a piece of um of book page and then you know putting glue down and using it like that that would even be cute. Like, I'm probably going to do that on this, on this piece right here. Right? Let's do that right now. Just to show you guys. Just to, like, I don't not necessarily show you guys. I don't really feel like I have to show you guys anything. You guys know what you're doing. But I just want to encourage anyone who just is thinking. Because I was like that at first. When I first started um making junk journals for myself and stuff i remember thinking like i need the stuff i need to go out and buy all of that stuff i need you know i need washi tape i need this i need that and like yeah of course like of course we all need it <laughs> it's fun to have but it's also fun to like find ways to you know make it myself and I'm always proud of my 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 work when I know that it's something that I've made myself. So there we go. <laughs> I didn't have any washi tape, so I just used um, some stick glue and some scrap book paper. And um, there's my washi tape. <laughs> so I'm just gonna trim it. And you don't even—I don't even need to trim it. I'm just doing it just for the sake of, um, I don't know, just for the sake of, you know, of kind of being kind of nice and neat, but I don't really feel like I need to, because I think it, it, I don't know, it lends a certain charm just to leave it as is, and so I'm going to put like a little, little flower there, and then that's going to be done, but I'll show you that in a minute. Let me get back to this one. So, um, like I said, I don't have, like, for, you know, if, if I didn't have, like, my little punch, my little punches, this is, like, the leftover piece of, like, 
I think I bought some hand cream and it came in a pretty box and so I was um you know because this is a pretty pink color I was you know making you know my punch flowers out of it but then I thought let me do um let me do like a flower that I make myself just to encourage anybody who might not have punches or doesn't want to get you know the punches or saving up to buy punches because man those punches are expensive i i was lucky enough to um so that's all i did was like a circle and then six petals i normally like five petals instead of six but it just it ended up it ended up as six so i'm just following my little I'm just following my little um, my little drawing here, roughly, and you know this is the back of the flower anyway, so it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. And so this is a very rough-looking flower. <laughs> I totally get that. So I'm going to, uh, I want to use a Sharpie because I feel like a Sharpie is going to be better <laughs> um, just to edge it because you can see the whites from, um, I'm just going to, you know, make it look because it, it looks messy and it is messy. So I'm just going to go with it and um, make it really messy. But I want to get rid of this, you know, the white part from where I cut. And um, I'm going to make it look, just look a little better than, than how it already looks. So um, there it already looks a little bit better. I mean, it's obviously pretty rough, right? But I'm not done yet. I am going to go ahead and glue it down. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it. I'm just trying to find... Um, best way to do it and um, while that's drying so I know that still looks really rough but while that's drying I'm just going to um, cut out some I'm just gonna cut out some leaf shapes so I can put some leaves on the side and I'm gonna make it kind of messy to be too big or too small so I like how that looks and I think for this I'm going to use my stick glue because I'm going to want to um I'm going to want to um get out my markers for that because <laughs> it's going to make it cute. I'm going to try to make it cute. So this glue's not dry yet, but I still want to get in there with my Sharpie and just I don't know, make it more, make it more flower-like. And like I said, it's, it's really messy and really raw and I'm just gonna go with it. So, um, there it is. Um, I am not done yet. Not done yet with that. I have an old marker here and I'm just gonna write and um, since I have um, since I have this um, liquid pearls I'm just gonna go ahead and and um, put some in there and like I said make it messy and I've got a little bit of this glitter 
so this is um zazz i don't know i think i got it at um tuesday morning so now that is going to take a really long time to dry but i'm really happy with it because um i made it myself i didn't use a punch <laughs> I made it myself. Oh no! I made it myself and um, it's still super cute. Um, the flower is really messy and that's fine. I can, you know, go in with, um, let me see. I can go in and kind of add some more, you know, add a little more something. with my markers. I actually kind of like this this one even better than than um the ones I made with my punch. Hopefully it's not there's not too much of a glare. So the sun's coming in. Um but yeah, this is cute, right? So I did these and I found this little piece of um, doily that I had left and um, I don't know, I thought I would just add it <laughs> to the corner here. I really love this this one. This one was really difficult because it's um, like a thicker paper so I, I had a hard time with the folding of it but um, I really love the monochromatic look that it ended up with. And I mean, <laughs> I feel like making all, like like a thousand of these. They're just, they ended up, you know, so super cute. And so um, when my camera turned off, I just um, added a couple of these um, butterflies to the flap here. And oh, there's a piece of washi tape stuck here, but that's okay. And then, um, for this one, because this is such a bold um, color and pattern, I have a, um, I had like a circle punch um, left over, so I just glued it down and then cut the, you know, cut the sides off to make it, you know, into that point, and then put my my butterfly on that, and that ends up looking really cute. And so, I mean, I, like the sky's the limit. I can go in with a marker and, um, you know, embellish it you know, even more. And I probably will, but I just thought, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to like do this with you guys today and um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully give you guys um, some ideas. So the only thing left that I really want to do that I just really love to do on um, my little flowers here, um, but then I won't be able to, I won't be able to close them because after that they're going to have to dry but um, I just like to put these little, little, you know, little pearl, pearlescent paint in the middle. Um, and I don't know if you can, you can see here, but my little flower is um, kind of wonky. 
And, um, you know, some people would be like, no, I gotta start over now, that flower's all messed up. But I just, I think that makes it look even more charming. <laughs> so, you know, if you're somebody who doesn't like uh, happy mistakes, that's okay. Or happy accidents, that's okay. Totally start over, but I don't feel the need to. I think that just gives it more charm. And um, it'll make me, you know, kind of giggle a little bit. So I've got a bunch of these little envelopes now. I don't know if you can see all of them. <laughs> Hopefully we can. So these are the ones that I made um, using all of my, you know, my, my, my punch cuts. And um, if you don't have a punch cut, that's totally okay. Because look at this cute little flower that I made um, just you know, cutting it out myself. And this is just as cute, if not cuter, as um, the rest of these little envelopes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of, I don't know, helpful and informative, or at least encouraging, or at least, um, you know, fun to hang out with me. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys again really soon. Take care of yourself and I will see you guys in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.